Let's discuss a few tips to achieve a strong return on your investment. And I know apartments have been fetching a strong rental yield. Yeah, and I think that is normally the traditional mind frame in Dubai. But I feel also that uh, after the pandemic especially, uh, the demand for townhouses has gone up quite a bit. Because families now prefer to live in a townhouse as it gives more space for everybody's needs. So I would say that currently in the market scenario, um, townhouses could fetch an excellent rental deal yield as much as um, an apartment would. Of course, even your service charges are rock bottom. I mean, in comparison to the space and the price that you're paying, that is why townhouses have jumped up so much in price today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree with you. And not only just for investors, I think townhouses are also great for end users, you know, to it's, invest in. Yeah, it's a great place for families. You have a backyard, build a small pool. It's, it's just enough room for your family to grow into it. Correct. Um, what is your thoughts? You know, normally people say that you should always buy a smaller unit in a prominent location, as that can also increase your ROI. For sure. Smaller units in prominent locations have a chance of getting rented out the fastest. Mm -hmm. They also fetch a better return on your investment because your initial purchase price was slightly lower. Correct. And if you bought something which was under construction, then you got a deal. Right. And you're right. I also think that, you know, smaller units are easier to resell as a lot more people can buy it. Of course. So when you even want decide to flip it, it's easier to flip out a smaller unit than a bigger unit. So sure. this offers multiple exit strategies on your investment, mm -hmm. making it a smart investment. And always remember, the bigger investors tend to pick smaller units, but they tend to pick a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Quantity then. Quantity and as you mentioned earlier, prominent locations. Mm, I agree. You mentioned service charges when we were talking about townhouses earlier. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that impacts your bottom line so much. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people a lot of times don't realize when they're buying an apartment, um, in a prominent location that they're going to have to pay that additional service charge which is a recurring cost that affects their bottom line every year for sure uh, especially in dubai being so diverse and open to mm. different ideas even now they offer you something like a land department fee waiver i just did a calculation for a buyer yesterday and when he did the math and it saw and he saw the way it affected his bottom line the land department fee may have been a saving of just ten thousand dollars but year on year that cost is something that he saves. You are right. Uh, so what I feel is that you know when, when you pick a unit in Dubai, for example, service charges can range anywhere from three to five dirhams if it's a townhouse, and anywhere from 15 dirhams to say 45 dirhams when it's an apartment or a hotel style apartment mm -hmm. uh, for that matter. And I think looking at the bottom line, like looking at the service charges before making your investment um, is a good way to make sure that you achieve a strong ROI. Sure. Even the smaller figures at the end of a 10 year period is what decides whether you get repaid off within a matter of seven years or even 10 years or even 12 years sometimes. Yeah. These tips may sound simple, but I think that anybody who wants to achieve a stronger ROI has a lot to gain just by keeping these simple things in mind. And at the end of the day, the bottom line is what matters. Right.